The oceans of the world were the home of Big Blue. He was the greatest monster that the world ever knew. And the place that he loved best was the waters to the west. Around the blue Pacific he did roam. Big Blue moved alone for a mighty blue was he. And the battle of the whales was an awesome sight to see. And he took them one by one and he drove them all away. In the making of the day he was the king. Big Blue had fifty wives and he sired forty sons, though most of them fell victim to the cruel harpoon guns. Ah, but he was much too wise to get caught by the gunner's eyes. And so he lived at sea a hundred years. His mouth was as large as a tunnel, so they say. His hide was thick as leather and his eyes quick and small, and his back was all scarred by the times he got away, and he knew the smell of whalers did Big Blue. Big Blue passed away to his natural decay beside the Arctic Circle as he travelled up that way, and there never was a man who was born with a gunner's hand who ever took a pan to Big Blue. Now the grey whale has run and the sperm is almost done. The finbacks of the Greenland rights have all passed and gone. They've been taken by the men for the money they could spend. And the killing never ends. It just goes on.